Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountain high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing Alleluia. Yahweh's people dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord and play. For him on glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountain side. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the only Savior of humankind. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you died for us on the cross. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the only one who can make our life fruitful and meaningful. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Paguri sa Diyos sa tayong kaasa At sa lupa'y kapayapan Sa mga tao kinalulugtan niya Pinupuri ka namin, tinanangal ka namin Sinasamba ka namin, pinagbubunyi ka namin Pinasasalamatan ka namin Dahil sa dakila mong akin Kapurian, Panginoong Diyos Hari ng langit Diyos sa makapangyarihan Sa lahat Panginoong Yesu Cristo Bugtong na anak Panginoong Diyos Kordero ng Diyos Anak ng Ama
Yesu Kristo ang katastasan kasama ng Espiritu Santo sa kadakilaan ng Diyos sa mga Almighty ever-living God who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race. So dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priest, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John, and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if you are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved. Then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarian, whom you crucified, whom God has raised from the dead. In his name, this man stand before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in your eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and He has given us light. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Oh 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way together with, or were, Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night, they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from the shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though they were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isa ba kayo sa mga Kristiyanong nagsasabi na pare-parehas lang ang lahat ng reliyon? Na meron lang iisang Diyos na sinasamba ang lahat ng tao? Iba-iba lang tayo ng paraan ng pagsamba? And so we should just regard our belief in Jesus as same prehas lang din tulad ng iba? Well, I think nagkakamali ka. Narinig po natin sa ating first reading ang pagharap ni na Pedro at Juan sa Sanhedrin. Ang Sanhedrin ang grupo ng mga hudyo na napakamakapangyarihan during those times. In fact, pwede silang magpataw ng kaparosahan ng kamatayan kanino man. At yan ang parang ibinebentot nila kay Pedro at Juan. Alam po nyo kasi sa aklat ng Deuteronomy chapter 13 verses 1 and following, Sinasabi doon na kapag mayroong isang propeta ang gumalawa ng Himala at nagturo yung propeta ngayon na sumamba sa diyos na hindi nila kakilala. Hindi dapat paniwalaan ng propeta ngayon at yung propeta ngayon ay dapat patawan ng kaparusahan ng kamatayan. At yan ang pinapaing nila kay Pedro at Juan sapagkat maliwanag na may nangyaring Himala. pinag explain nila ngayon si Pedro at Juan at ang kanilang tanong, Sa anong kapangyarihan at kaninong pangalan ninyo ginawa ang mga bagay na ito? Kung ang sasabihin nilang kapangyarihan at pangalan ay pangalan ng Diyos o diyos na hindi nila kakilala, liban sa kakilalan lang Diyos ng Israel lamang. Alam na na Pedro at Juan ang kanilang kahinatnan, kamatayan. But in spite of that, Peter and John still declared their faith in Jesus. And he even said, there is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. 
only the name of Jesus because God provided no alternative. Imagine that. I mean, how powerful that was. And for Peter and John to declare that, tayo nga eh. Kabilis nating sabihin, pare-pareho lang lahat ng reliyon. Pare-pareho lang ng Diyos na sinasamba ang lahat ng tao para walang usap, walang diskusyon, walang ma-offend. E talaga nga bang ganon? Isipin nga po ninyo, kung lahat ng tao ay naniniwala na Diyos si Kristo, edi sana lahat tayo Kristiyano. Diba? Eh may ibang reliyon eh. In fact, yung ibang reliyon, hindi Diyos ang tingin nila sa Panginoon. Yung ibang reliyon, ang tingin nila kay Kristo, propeta lang. Mas magaling pa, mas makapangyarihan pa, mas makadakila pa yung founder ng reliyon nila. Papayag ka ba ng ganon? Come on. Yes! Makitungo tayo sa kanila. Respetuhin natin ang paniniwala nila. Mahalin natin sila. Ipagdasal natin sila. Pero, huwag tayong papayag na ang Panginoon yung Jesus natin na Diyos at yung dinodiyos nila ay same prehas lang din talaga. No, we are not the same. At hindi po yan kayabangan. Alam po ba ninyo kung ano ang tunay na kayabangan? Yung sabihin natin na ang lahat ng relihiyon ay pare-parehas lang. Yes. Baka akalain nyo dahil nag a tayo sa iba. Kapakumbabaan yan. No. Pwedeng kapakumbabaan sa harap ng iba dahil nag a tayo sa kanila. Prehas lang tayo, di ba? Pero sa mata ng Diyos, nuknukan ng pagiging mayabang yan. Bakit? Dahil sino ba ang nagsabing Diyos talaga si Jesus? Iki nga, sa ating unang pagbasa, yung sinabi ni Pedro at ni Juan na kay Kristo lamang nagmumula ang kaligtasan, na sa silong ng kalangitan, ang pangalang nakapagliligtas ay ang pangalan ni Jesus lamang. Sino ba ang nagsabi talaga niyan? Si John ba at si Pedro ang original na nagsabi niya? Hindi! Inulit lamang nila ang sinabi ni Kristo. Si Kristo mismo ang nagsabi niyan. John 14.6 Jesus said, I am the way the truth, and the life. Tapos, sabi pa niya, no one comes to the Father except through me. Hindi niya sinabing, I am one of the ways, I am one of the truths. Hindi. Sabi niya, ako lang ang daan. Ako lang ang katotohanan. Ako lang ang buhay. John 10.7, I am the gate of the sheep. I am the door. I am the vine. I am the resurrection and the life. Walang ibang pinanggalingan yung katotohan ng Diyos Jesus. Kundi ang Diyos din naman. Kaya't ang sabihing, ang lahat ng founder ng mga relihiyon ay pare-parehas lang. Kaya't ang sabihing, ang lahat ng mga sinasamba ng tao sa buong mundo ay pare-parehas lang. Hindi po yan kapakumbabaan sa harapan ng Diyos. Kanuknukan ng kayabangan yan sapagkat may yayabang pa ba doon yung kontrahin mo ang katuhanang sinabi mismo ng Panginoon mo na para bang ang sabi niya ako ang Diyos ay eh, sinabi mo namang I don't think so yung iba Diyos din katulad mo rin hindi ka pa kumbabaan yon sa harapan ng Diyos kaya ba nga niya besides karanasan natin ang magsasabi sa atin na ayaw nating ipinaparehas tayo sa iba lalo na kung yung ipinaparehas sa atin, alam natin, mas angat tayo, di hamak talaga. Ang makailan ay mayroong nagsabi sa akin ng ganito, hindi na tayo magbabanggit ng pangalan. Si ganito, eka, kinukumpara ko kay ganon, magkamukhado kami ni ganon. Eh, pangit-pangit kaya ng ilong nun? Mas maganda ilong ko dun? Puisit niya. Akala niya natutuwa ako sa sinabi niya. Inulit-ulit pa. Nakita niyo na. E yung ikinukumpara dun sa sinasabi kong galit na galit. Maayos din naman ang itsura. Medyo mas matakos nga lang ang ilong niya. Kunti lang. Busit na busit na. Galit na galit pa. Kita niyo na. E imagine kung anong mararamdaman ng Diyos. Kung sasabihin natin, nakaparehas lamang din niya ang iba. Siya na Diyos talaga. Kaparehas ng tao lang talaga. Siya na lumikha sa lahat. Kaparehas ng nilikha lang niya. Siya na walang hanggan. Kaparehas ng may katapusan. Come on! I'm sure God will never be pleased with that. Lalo pat for the sake na makisama ka lang, mag-adjust ka lang sa iba. 
sa sakripisyo mo siya at ang paniniwala mo sa Kanya. Amen. Tama na ang sabi ng Panginoon, mahalin natin ang ating kapwa, pero not to the extent na isasakripisyo natin siya at ang paniniwala natin sa Kanya. Sapagkat kumpara sa ating kapwa, dapat una pa rin siya. Hindi nga lang dapat una Dapat wala siyang katulad talaga. Hindi siya even number one. Siya dapat ang the only one na nasa tuktok ng ating prioridad kumpara sa sino man o ano man. We should please God and not man. Hindi ko po alam ang kasaysayan ng kaligtasan ng mga kapatid nating hindi naniniwala kay Kristo bilang Diyos na totoo. Hindi na po natin panghihimasukan na yan. Ang pag-uusapan natin ng bahagya ay yung atin na lang. Bahagya sapagat hindi na po natin isasama ang lahat ng mga ginawa para sa atin ng Diyos. Simula pa ng tayo kanyang nilikha and then ang unang tao ay magkasala. O di ba't kung babasahin nga po natin ang Biblia simula pa sa simula ay mababasa natin ang maaaring summary na lang ng mas marami pang sakripisyo at biyayang ibinigay ng Diyos para sa tao. Na ang culmination at ang completion nga po ay ang pagkakatawang tao ng kanyang bugtong na anak, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Si Kristo, na sabi nga po ni San Pablo, ay hinubad ang kanyang pagiging Diyos, nagkatawang tao at namatay para sa tao. Hindi lang basta namatay, namatay sa krus. Which basically means, kinawa talaga ng Diyos. Ang lahat-lahat, kahit yung hindi mo akalaing gagawin niya, kinawa niya para lamang tayo ay maligtas niya. In fact, yung sinabi ni Jesus sa Cruz, Ama, bakit mo ko pinabayaan? Ay pagpapakita na niramdam, dinanas talaga ni Jesus para sa atin ang lahat. Kahit yung bigat talaga ng lahat ng kasalanan ng tao, kasabay ng pag-ako sa kaparusahan na dulot ng mga ito. And of course, nandiyan ang biyaya ng muling pagkabuhay na ating pinakikinabangan hanggang ngayon at syempre, hanggang sa kalangitan. As I said, bahagyang enumeration lang yan. Sapagat sabi nga po ni San Juan, kulang ang buong mundo kung isusulat ang lahat ng ginawa ni Kristo. Ngayon kung sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, pagharap natin sa Diyos ay sasabihin pa rin natin sa Kanya, kulang pa si Kristo. Kaya dapat may iba pang Diyos, Diyosan, maliban sa Kanya. Sa tingin ninyo, kung hindi man kayabangan yan, hindi ba kawalang utang na loob na lang yan? Brothers and sisters, Jesus is more than enough. Hindi lamang para sa kaligtasan natin kapag tayo'y namatay, kundi kahit ngayon na tayo'y nabubuhay, Siya lamang ang tunay na makapagbibigay ng kaligayahan sa atin. Siya lamang ang tunay na makapagliligtas sa atin. Ito sana ay ating paniwalaan upang mas ganap nating mapanindigan. Hindi lamang sa harap ng mga kapatid natin hindi naniniwala sa Kanya, kundi lalo na sa mismong sarili natin kung tayo nakararanas ng mga matitinding pagsubok at problema. Maniwala sana tayo that we have everything in Jesus to conquer anything. Amen. Lagay natin ang ating kanang kamay sa tapat ng ating puso. Awitin natin alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa makapangyarihan siya ang kung ako'y magtatapat, kung ako'y magtatapat, sa Kanya'y maglilingkod, sa Kanya'y maglilingkod, alam ko may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong diringhin ang Diyos ang samo. Alam kong diringhin ang Diyos ang samu ko alam kong diring kinang Dios ang samu ko alam kong diring kinang Dios sa pagkat alam niya ang pinagdaraan 
Kung ako'y magtatapat, kung ako'y magtatapat, sa Kanya'y maglilingkod, sa Kanya'y maglilingkod, alam ko, di rin ginang Diyos ang samu. Bikit natin ang ating mga mata, Panginoon. Hindi mo problema na hindi ako minsan naniniwala sa kapangyarihan mo at sa pagamahal mo. Sapagkat ito'y napatunayan mo na hindi lang nang ikay mabayubay sa krus at muling mabuhay, kundi sa aking buhay. Sapagkat kung magiging very honest lamang ako sa sarili ko, kung titingnan ko ang buhay ko, laganap ang pagkaparamdam mo ng pagiging Diyos mo. Na kahit may mga problema nga kala ko, hindi ko kaya, na kaya ko. Dahil ako'y tinulungan mo. Panginoon, tulungan mo kung mas mapanindigan ito. Alleluia. 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 Siya'y muling babalik sa atin. Hindi niya tayo iiwan. Hindi niya tayo pababayan. Paniwalaan natin. Alleluia. Purihin ang Diyos. Alleluia. Sa tatlang panahon, babalik ang Panginoon. Upang tayo ay kunin. Tapat siya sa kanyang mga pangangusap. Sabihin mo sa iyo, mayroong magandang mangyayari sa iyo. Bukas mo ngayon mga mata. Alam mong mahal ka niya. Kung lalapit ka kay Jesus, gano'n naman kapigat ang iyong problema. Alam mo na mahal ka niya. Yung kaalaman mo niya ng panghawakan. Dahil ang Panginoon ay hindi nakapagawa. Kung lalapit kay Jesus, kung lalapit kay Jesus, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without an end. Mga palat sa kabutihan mo ay aming tinanggap kasiyang tanggapin ang siya naming hangad tinapay na bunga ng pagod at hirap samasamang magalay ng buong pagmamahal samasamang magalay ng buong pagmamahal. Alay pa rin namin sa iyo, amang liyag, ang alak na mula sa katahas ng ubas na sa kalinga mo'y aming ding tinanggap. Kaya ngayon'y muli, handog sa iyong hapag, sama-samang magalay ng buong pagmamahal. Sama-samang magalay ng buong pagmamahal. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray the solemn exchange brought about by this Paschal offering that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. And by rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with basil joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the Sometimes name of the, the Lord. Lord son, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore his gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, let that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink, and drink this, this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Jesus, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those for whom we will now pray. Let us pray for our departed loved ones. We pray for them and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Lazarus, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with all the blessed apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Kakanin 
Every evil grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace to grant her peace and unity and in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of God's peace. His spirit. Okay, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Ang iyong kabutihan at mga gawa mong makapangyarihan Aking sasabihin na ikaw ay dakila Kabaitan mo'y awitin tuwina Aking iyayag ang katakilan na Salamat ang siya at pupurihin magpakailanman. Aking iahayag ang kadakilan na Salamat ang siya at pupurihin magpakailanman, magpakailanman. Let 
us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of mercy. We trust in you. Alalahanin. Alalahanin o mahalabirhin ng lasalit, ina ng pag-asa. Ikaw ang nagpaalala sa aming magbalik loob sa Ama. Ito ang nagpapatunay na kagandahang loob mo'y nanatiling busilak. Sa pag-aaruga mo sa amin, tungkulin mo'y tinupad. Sa paanan ni Kristo'y itinuring mo kaming mga tunay mong anak. Kaya ninais mong ni Isay huwag mapahamak. Maging sa iyong walang tigil na pananalangin, pati luhay pumatap. Huwag namang mawala ng saysayang iyong paghihirap. Hiling nawa namin sa iyo o aming inang liyag na matapos na pakikibaka namin sa mundong ito at sa pananatili naming tapat kay Kristo. Sa kapurihan mo'y makibahagi kaming ganap upang kung nasan ka ngayon ay maparoon din kaming lahat at ng kaganapan ng kalwalhatian ng Diyos Amay tuluyang matupad siya nawa. Mahal na birhan ng lasal at pagkasundo ng mga makasalanan. Ipanalangin mong walang patid kaming mga dumudulog sa iyo. Maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy niyong pagtulong sa amin, lalo na sa inyo na kahit di nakakapunta dito ay nagpapadala ng kalilang tulong through our GCash and bank account. Salamat po sapagkat ito ay nagagamit po natin sa patuloy na paggawain ng ating simbahan. Pwede niyong maisip at makita na halos buo na, pero hindi po ibig sabihin lahat ay bayad na. Eh, sana po, uh, patuloy niyo po kaming tutungan. Maraming, maraming salamat po. Sa Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless us all, our loved ones. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of our risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Mary, Mother of the Lord, hear the prayer we sing to you. Let your tears sip in our minds and hearts as once they fell at La Salle. Tell your people how to live again. Tell your people how to sing again. Tell your people how to dance again. Tell your people how to pray again. Mary, Mother of the Lord, hear the prayer we sing to you. in our minds and hearts as once they fell at the silence.